All right, I've got a, might be really windy, but I've got a limited window of time. I'm uh, hiking in this open savanna grassland type area. And uh, as you maybe saw, there's some rocks over there. I'm gonna do some rock flipping for a little bit. So uh, only have about 30, 45 minutes. So I'm gonna get cracking. We have a species of snake here, starting big. Um, it's non non venomous. It looks like it's either so it's in shed, which is why it's hard to tell. And I've removed a little bit of the shed, and it's a little green underneath. So this is either one of the water snake species or like a olive house snake or something like that. I need to look this up because it's a little confusing. But I'll get some video of it. Alright, we're gonna let it go back under its rock. It'll be there. There you go. Alright, so uh, we're out here flipping rocks in South Africa near like pine plantations, so it's pretty unique habitat. Uh, here's a pretty grassy area alongside a canyon with a stream, and so far we found an unidentified snake that we picked up that was like looked kind of like a house snake. And here under this rock, you can see by my leg, there is like a sand or whip snake species. I know some of these are venomous, um, but it's normally a very mild venom. Um, and a, if this is a striped-bellied sand snake, which it looks like it is, it would not be venomous. So, or not significantly. I might get my camera out if this guy's just staying where he is. Alright, here's a better look at this uh, sand snake. What do we got? Pretty cool species. Looks like it's somewhat in shed. He's going right back under his rock. Alright, cool. Alright, we just flipped that rock and got this little plated lizard. These guys are kind of like, in my mind, one of the whoa, iconic lizard species for South Africa. See that cool, like, shingled pattern on the on the back and legs. Very cool. I'm just gonna let them go back into here. But this rock pile should have some cool stuff. You can see the pine plantations here. Looks awfully familiar to America. Yeah. Um, just weird in South Africa. I think normally this would all just be like like this, you know? Yeah. The fields and stuff. Pretty neat. Alright, just flipped a toad. Gonna move him out. Oh. Nice. Gonna move him out and uh, put the rock back down. There you go. Flipped this rock and got a uh, scorpion. Another plate of lizard. Oh, that cool. looks like a dragon. Yeah, so. Dragon lizard. This oh one's my a god. Bigger. Oh. Can I touch it? Whoa. Yeah, you guys can hold it if you want. <laughs> Caroline, don't let that. it go. Why do you think I'm gonna let it go? Oh. He's not even He's so flat. <laughs> it looks like a baby sun gazer. Yeah, it's in that. Um. It might be a sun gazer, it might be in that family. Yeah. Um, there you go. Hey dude, can I hold him off to you dude? Look how chill they are. Nope. Pretty cool. 
Check out this habitat. This is something else. Very cool. A lot of the rock isn't really flippable. Some of it is. And the stuff that is has had snakes under it, or lizards, or scorpions, stuff like that. Uh, as compared to like where we were, I don't know, like a week or so ago, where I flipped 140 some rocks for like a, a study we were doing on like biodiversity under rocks, and we found uh, like one snake, maybe. Oh, wow. I just noticed there's an agama lizard up here. That is awesome. Hold on. Maybe we can catch it. Let's look at this guy before he takes off, and then we're going to try to catch him. All right, here we go. So he's under this thing. I'm going to turn the camera off and see if I can get him. All right, he got away, but uh, we're gonna keep flipping some rocks. Looks like we might be leaving soon. I'm just trying to keep an eye. Um, I wish I had more time here. A little scorpion. But, um, yeah, because this is the best we've had so far in terms of snakes and things. Really cool habitat, too. Never really seen much like it. It looks like Ireland, but... Um, you know, not cold. It's not hot either, but it's not super cold. We're still in winter here. All right, I'll let you know next thing we find. All right, check this out. We got a, a shed right here. Um, it's a pretty substantial shed with keeled scales. Could be from a cobra or something. Be really cool. Um, yeah, good area we're in though. Got a little bit more time, so maybe we can turn up something. It almost looks like wrinkles habitat, so that'd be really cool. That's one of my top targets here. I just don't know if I'll ever be in the right habitat for them, but uh, we'll see. Looks to be an abandoned structure around here. There's a big piece of concrete, so we're gonna look around this area and maybe and peek inside there and see if there's anything. Um, keep flipping rocks. Clock is ticking, but uh, yeah, I still have a few minutes. So I'll have about 15 minutes, so could turn something up. All right, it's almost like bullet holes. <laughs> um, the glass there. Let's keep looking. I don't know if we'll be able to get in here, but seems all boarded up. Uh, all right, no snakes that I see in the rafters, which looks like somewhere you could see in a lapid maybe, but not today. All right, we're gonna keep flipping rocks. All right, this is just such a great looking rock. I need to flip it on video. I'm okay, almost expecting a snake under this. What? God damn. Slammed that rock too. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. Oh, I can't tell you how much of a relief it is to actually like be somewhere that has a significant number of snakes. Like, oh, it's just nice. It looks like great habitat too. Like this is just like textbook, not just for Africa, but for anywhere you go. We're still near that abandoned structure and there's cement blocks and stuff. Looks really cool. Um, hoping for something cool. All right, it's looking like I'm gonna head out, um, but pretty cool. We saw a handful of snakes, like maybe five snakes, four or five snakes, something like that. A few different species um, in this wetter area. So um, I'm not in an area with hippos and crocs and stuff like that right now, which might be part of the reason that uh, couldn't resist sorry but yeah so I'm not in an area with hippos and crocs and things like that right now so I'm able to actually you know walk around and look for things near water um, where like in the in the real savanna type bush area I can't really do that so 
Um, maybe water's the key and we'll have to target that whenever we can. But uh, yeah, so uh, pretty productive. I'm gonna see if I can ID that snake later and then get back to you guys, but that's that for now. All right, I figured I'd just chime in here after the fact and clear up some IDs. So uh, that mystery snake that we found under the rock was, uh, I believe, a common brown water snake. Um, but it was in shed. It had a pretty like iridescent pearl-like stomach. Um, and then what I kept calling a plated lizard was actually a girdled lizard, uh, which you can see here. So uh, there you go. Now, what I was correct about was calling those uh, striped snakes that I was finding sand snakes. Um, they are mildly venomous, but harmless to people. Um, I get a little freaked out because some of the snakes uh, of Southern Africa are mildly venomous and it doesn't quite mean the same thing um, as it does in the US. Like here they would consider a copperhead mildly venomous while we would consider a hognose mildly venomous. Um, so, you know, I just kind of need to brush up on the IDs and also was looking at the wrinkles in this book and, uh, that shed looked somewhat like a wrinkle shed and had keeled scales and was found in kind of like a high veld, um, wetland type ecosystem. So very possible if I get the chance to go back there, I will. Um, if not, then, uh. Oh well, you know, maybe we'll encounter one somewhere else, but stay in the loop for more videos and uh, that'll be that.